Greetings, and welcome back to my channel. Now, I know I promised another Dungeons of Infinity video, and that is coming. Let me show you what I'm on about with this one. Actually, hang on a second. Several hours later! Obviously, this isn't your standard, uh, you know, Super Smash Brothers game. It's, it, this is a fan game, to be specific. And some of the characters here have been on other uh, fan games, looking at uh, Smash Bros. fan games, excuse me. Look at you, Black Mage. Hold your fire! This man isn't black! It's me, Goku! So, this is my main in Smash Bros. It, it, this has been my main since Smash 64. It was my main in, in Melee. I didn't play enough Brawl or Smash 4 to be, for him to be my main there. He is my main in Ultimate, though. So, let me just show this guy off real quick. So, old boy's got the same things you'll find in uh, most Smash Bros. games. He's got his boomerang, he's got his bow, he's got bombs. He be doing that spin attack and such. And Crusade, he's got a pretty standard kit, right? I believe Toon Link is left in the same boat. So, in terms of specials, Toon Lake shares a lot in common with Young Lake and Smash Ultimate. But in terms of his other, uh, the rest of the game set, he's much similar to actual Toon Lake and Smash Ultimate. But yeah, he's got all the same stuff Link does in terms of special moves. However, I did not say that Link was my main in this game. And that's because I have found someone better. Link. Hold your fire! This man isn't being a sh I haven't really showed off their skins very much, but uh, this is one I use the most often. Because I can just imagine somebody calling this dude's like their or well, this dude's man named Link over here. And then all of a sudden watch this dude kind of material materialize out of their walls like a ghost would. And just chuckle at them menacingly. <laughs> I have a disturbed sense of humor sometimes. But let me show you why Dark Link is so different from Link and 2 Link. Go! Uh, so we have the neutral special. Uh, it'd be a bow for Link, but for Dark Link, it's kind of a two-piece combo here. Then we have the forward special, which would be the boomerang. Actually, a back shot, which is pretty cool. You roll into them and you, and you swing at them from behind. Uh, the up shot, the up, uh, the up special is still the same. Although, it's more like S Smash 64 links, in that it, you can't really combo off it like you could in Smash Ultimate. It's, it's just kind of like a, uh, kind of like a single object of a sense. You can only only get one, one attack rather than you're just on the ground in the air. The down special, though, kind of cool. You cut, just kind of hold the shield there. And then you swing when you're when you're ready. Uh, I don't know if there's like a, a timed element to it, like based on how long you hold it, or. But either way, it can do some damage. My favorite move is is forward beat, not because of how it works on the ground, because it does something different in the air. And of course, down beat does something different in the air too. And I actually think that's really awesome. It's honestly better than his down air, which is basically the same thing. But the down special in air just has so much more oomph to it. Uh, it does have the drawback of being at an angle. But yeah, he has a vastly different moveset from Link. Not just in his specials, but in like, uh... In his, uh, in basically all of them. His up air is kind of similar, though. <laughs> Of course, so is the down. Okay, hang on a second. Let's see if I can hit all three. I couldn't hit with the final, so the fourth one. I don't know. Ah, there we go. Yeah. So this has kind of been my main man. 
So I'm going to uh, mess around a little bit, showing off, him, showing him off in the fights against actual opponents before I move on to some other characters because I got some other characters I want to show off. Uh, some, you know, some characters I've toyed with a little bit here and there. Training. So let's get out of training mode. Survival. All right. Dark Link. So he's got some other skins besides my favorite one. He's got some of them are just colors. He can kind of take the form of his master in this Ganondorf skin and this Pig Ganon skin. Other than that, uh, I believe Gloom is based on Terra's Kingdom and Hera State is based on Twilight Princess. I don't know what Hollow is based on, but we're going to stick with Hera Roper. Alright, and I'm going to switch to Final Destination just because I really don't like messing with the platform. Oh boy, DC. Okay, well. This is gonna be, uh, I was gonna say interesting, but I guess annoying would be a bit more accurate. Okay, well. There we go. Now, unfortunately, Crusade only has one taunt per character, unlike in Smash Ult. That's a bit unfortunate, uh, I think, but it's not a good move or anything. It's, like, it's a minor thing. Now, unfortunately, Bro does have a very common link final smash, and uh, I'm, as soon as I can, I'm gonna show it off to you here. Not who I meant to hit with it. Get this out of here. Okay, well that was not what I wanted to happen, but I pressed the wrong button, so it's kind of on me. Okay, well, I'm. Oh, okay, that hit him. Okay, I thought that hit me for a second there. Don't want that. In fact, I really need to figure out how to turn items off in this game. That's not something I've figured out how to do yet. Excellent. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, well. Sometimes thing ha things happen. It's just how the world is. Come here, you. None of that now. Ah, oh boy, he got the invincibility. That's concerning. Goofy boy. Alright, well, I couldn't show off his, his uh... <laughs> yeah, no, there is no joke, bro's dead ass in your walls as we speak. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, his final smash is the Triforce Slash. Like, I'm not even gonna try to, like, show it off. Uh, do another round to show it off. That it is what it is. Uh, it's actually kind of cool in this game because you, uh, as you probably noticed, you get like titles based on your combo links, and the Triforce Slash gives you the manly title, which is pretty cool. I don't think the titles do anything. I think they're just like congratulatory like messages for getting certain com combo links. It is what it is. Also, Bro's uh, theme is straight up spooky, which is good because uh, he's basically a specter. So, let's move on. You know, forgive me for going a little dark here, because the next person I want to show off is actually the, the person who cre I believe, if I know my Zelda lore right, created Dark Light. 
And I'm not even gonna go looking at your fairy skins just yet. Let's just get into this. Because Moose, Moose Moose set here is significantly different from Smash Ultimate or like any Smash game he's been in. For the better, to be fair. Like, his, his moves are definitely better here than it is in Ultimate. Yeah, um, uh, his moveset here is very much more akin to it, what it was in, uh, Ocarina of Time, at least in specials. He does still have some, uh, he does still have some Captain Falcon in this. He also has that neat quote that Pizza also has, but, I mean, he can do it in the Ocarina of Time, so that makes sense. If I can, let me actually hit this dude, because I'm getting distracted. Okay, I was trying to grab that, whatever. Yeah, he can actually teleport too, which is cool. Well, I don't think he can do that in Ocarina, but it's whatever. I'm just trying to get out of this way so I can actually do this. He also uh, uses his sword a lot more in this game, which is uh, an interesting joke going around like the Brawl days. At least from what I remember. Nah, come here. Alright, let's see what this special stuff is. Ah uh, yes, going up, going, uh, going for the ultimate special. Man. I can appreciate that. Oh, look who's big and small here. What do you mean by that? Look who's nice and small and easily exploitable. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah, this is his final smash. I'm sorry. Oh, all of it. All right, you got me with that. That's my fault for using up and not like. Bye. <laughs> the winner is Ganondorf. Oh, at least we know he brushes his teeth. Damn! Let's move on to somebody else. Let's see here. I haven't played with any of the Sonic characters yet, except I think Sonic himself, but I don't really recall. I'm just going to go after one that looks most interesting. Actually, strike that. I have played as Tails. And while his moveset is similar to the Tails from Super Smash Flat, and there's some differences, but I'm gonna go and look at the Shadow's moveset. Alright, let's see here. Okay, homing attack, I see you. Okay. Brawl has kind of a simple moveset. I'm gonna hate it. Ooh, I like his up smash. That's cool. Okay. His forward tilt and uh, jabs are pretty cool. Down smash is cool. I'm the coolest. No, but I'm the coolest. Okay, that's the coolest smash. I do need to get off me more right now. I see how you like that, huh? Oh, this is a final smash, okay. Ah, well, I screwed that up. <laughs> 
I have a really bad habit. I don't know why I do this, but when I'm like below the stage, I have a habit of pressing A instead of B. Oh, I like that combo for his final smash. Very flavorful. Appreciate it if you would not do that. Yeah, you like that, big boy? Yeah. Goodbye. Oh, Very nice. Very nice. I really like the music in this game. They really do a good job of picking the right, uh, the right themes for the right characters, I think, I feel. Okay, who do I want to mess with last? Well, I'm not very good with him, but I guess the least I could do is show off Goku here. I actually do want to give Vegeta a try, but in order to unlock him, you have to do a 100-man... Uh, actually, sorry, I forget what it's called. Give me a second. Stadium. Yeah, 100-man crusade. And that is the end of that story because... Yeah, I'm just not good enough to take it, to do that. I need to get better at this game. So yeah, I'll show off Goku real quick when in the video there, I guess. And well, let's mix it up. Where do I want to fight? Oh yeah, this is a this is a stage I always wish was in Smack City for, just because of how much sense it makes. Three, two, let's get one, this party started. Go! So let's go ahead and charge up the new respect. Mind. Yeah, to be fair, I probably wouldn't have him here anyway. Let's back, get some space. And of course, he has the float as well, but I mean, he can fly, so that makes any sense. Okay, that did hit him a little bit. So this is his uh, side special. I don't really know what it's supposed to be, but I guess for like a, a barrage, like a rush attack, it like, makes sense. So yeah, uh, predictably his up special is instant transmission. Pure recovery, makes sense. His down special is actually Kaioken, which I think he got knocked out of because I definitely didn't cancel it. I don't know what's going on with that. Also, his uh, dash attack stuns. Or is that his uh, forward tilt? I think it's his forward tilt actually. It's supposed to be that. To see if I can actually. Well, never mind. Okay. You, have to, you really have to be careful with this down there. You can get, you can easily like SD with it. If you're not trying to. I'm having trouble dealing with Sonic here, it's Goku. But like I said, I'm not the best with this character. He's a little bit different in Smash Flash, which is where I first saw him. But and yeah, your your position is the air is saved if you use it in there. Which is cool, you can definitely use that to, to, to some of them, you know, if you don't get hit out of it. Okay, well this is unfortunate. Yep, lost the stock there. But it's even now, to the two. What is this final stage? Oh yeah, it's a Kaioken Rush, gotcha. I remember now. That is mine, thank you very much. Oh boy, that is dangerous. Okay, get off me, please. I don't think that's gonna happen. Okay, I think he only went hypersonic because he is using the supersonic scan. I think he normally goes supersonic. Not that I would not have actually never actually seen that before. It just makes sense to me. Get off me. Maybe it's always hypersonic. I don't know. Actually, I don't have to do some research on that. Get off me. He does have this, uh, cool combo move with his, uh, forward arrow, by the way. Let me get out of here. Kind of similar to Dark Link's, uh, forward, forward special in the air. 
<laughs> but not as uh, dangerous in terms of like uh, SKing yourself. Alright, there we go. One stock to go. Just gonna throw this up here in case he comes for me again. Later. <laughs> Alright. Uh, well, okay, that's not doing anything. Good boy, you figured out the trick. Hey, yeah, uh, this is what happens if you actually hit with it. You know. Let's do one more. I'm feeling one more. Because I kind of want to see what Gino has to offer. I know some people who have been begging for this man's uh, introduction into Smash. So let's see what he has to offer. Gino, three, two, one, go! Very good. Okay, this one... This is down so it's kind of hard to hit accurately. Okay, I see you. It gets an attack boost, but it also, uh, makes you hover, makes you hover. Upwards if you, uh, I guess, float upwards. You know what? I'm sorry. I've seen enough. No contest. He definitely feels like a short range attacker with the exception of his neutral special, and I'm not normally a fan of that. Dark Dark Link does it well with his long reach, but Gino's I I don't know. I'm sorry. I know he's some people's fan and everything, I just don't think he's for me. I did enjoy playing him in uh RPG though. That is going to be the end of the video, though I think I have enough uh, footage. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Farewell. Time to f***ing pig, a motherf***ing pig!